Have you ever experienced the pain of belief? Now you probably thinking to yourself, what do you mean by the pain of belief? Have you ever pursued something with all your heart and you were so excited about it, you worked towards it, but then you started having disappointments that made you discouraged. But despite that discouragement, you kept moving forward. You have a belief inside of yourself that the very thing that you're working for will eventually work out. And as you keep having setbacks, as you get discouraged, you keep believing. That is the pain of belief. It's a belief within yourself despite the disappointments, the setbacks, you're going to keep believing and moving forward. And a lot of people don't talk about the fact that when you believe in something with all your heart, there will be pain associated with that. You will have a pain of belief that will make you want to give up. What's up, it's Gene, your coach and motivating impact storyteller. This is Gene's Motivation. Whatever it is that you have a vision for achieving in your life, you have to make sure that you believe in it with all your heart. Because when you are pursuing it and things are not happening as fast as you thought they would, and you start to experience that pain of belief, if you don't have a belief within yourself that is so strong that things will work out, you will give up on your dream. I cannot tell you guys how many times I've shot these videos with the pain of belief. I've said to myself, I've shot almost 1500 videos I don't have the success that I see in my mind I've done so many speaking engagements I reached out to so many other businesses schools who have rejected me but despite all of that the discouragement that comes with that I keep moving forward because I have a belief within myself that eventually my goals and my dreams will become a reality but in order for that to happen I must deal with with the pain of belief, the pain that things are not happen as fast as I want, the pain of the setbacks, the pain of the disappointments, the pain of disbelief is part of the process we must endure in order to realize our goals and dreams. See, there's a lot of you guys out there, you have started something, you went after a dream, but then the pain of belief came into your life it was so intense that you gave up on your dream because you felt that quitting was the only way you can get a cure for that pain but if you want that dream to be birthed into your life if you want to live that vision that's inside of you you must endure the pain of belief so how do you endure the pain of belief Number one, you have to be positive with yourself and appreciate the efforts and contributions that you've made. See, the big mistake that I've made is when I start focusing on the things I don't have, the success or the, the goals I haven't reached, instead of you know being positive with myself about the efforts I put in so far, the contributions I've made to people's lives, the many people that I have encouraged to believe that they're worthy to be great. When I, start, when I do not focus on those things, then the pain of belief can come in like a hurricane and have me discouraged and I don't want to move forward. But see, if you want your goals and dreams to become a reality, you have to be positive with yourself. You have to appreciate your own contributions and your efforts because that's one of the ways you will be able to endure the pain of belief. And number two, you have to keep things in perspective while you wait. You see, if you get so focused on all the negative things, if you start focusing on the things that not happening in your life, you will lose perspective that you're in a process of growth. You are building a foundation. You are becoming that person you're destined to be. And that perspective will help you endure the pain of belief. 
But if you don't have a good perspective about the things that you're enduring, then you will become very frustrated. You become negative. You become toxic to the point that you will give up on the goals and dreams that you have. So the second thing that I encourage you to do is keep things in perspective while you wait on your dream to flourish in your life. And the third thing that's very important, you have to do something for yourself. So you can get so caught up in doing for other people, encouraging other people, you know, inspiring people to the point that you forget about you. The pain of belief will come into your life and you will be so focused on trying to help so many other people that you forget to help yourself. You start to neglect yourself to the point that that pain starts to become so strong in your life that you either give up or you be so discouraged that you don't even have the energy to move forward. So in order for you to endure the pain of belief, you have to make sure that you do something for you. Take time out for you. Go out and watch a movie, take a walk, just get your mind off of other people and focus on yourself and that will help you to endure the pain of belief. So I want to encourage you, whoever you are out there, you have a dream or a goal that you're pursuing and you're moving towards it and you're experiencing the pain of belief to keep on believing in yourself. Keep moving forward despite that pain, that discouragement. Keep on moving forward despite the setbacks because when you decide to believe in yourself and your dreams and you move forward with confidence, you'll be able to endure the pain of belief. If you do the things that I told you in this video, when that pain is intense in your life and you start to appreciate yourself, your contributions and your efforts, you start to be positive with yourself and you do things for yourself while you wait on that dream to flourish in your life, then you endure the pain of belief and become the person that you are destined to be because you are worthy to be great.